Hi everyone, I'm Heva and welcome back. Today we are going to be testing some new products and it's from a brand that I never thought that I'd be getting. Never. And the brand I'm talking about, it is by KKW Beauty. <laughs> yeah. I bought something from Kim Kardashian West. I mean, I don't even watch her shows. I do get a glimpse of it when my daughter comes home and she'll watch it and I'm just rolling my eyes like, really? But I did buy some products and the ones that I bought, the KKW and Mario eyeshadow palette, I saw it and it just looked pretty. I, wa I wanted it. <laughs> Three of her concealers in the shade 6, 7, 8. I also got the baking powder and the brightening powder. And both of these are in the shade 2. So we will be looking at them, swatching them, trying them on, and see how it works. And just have some fun. And the concealers that I got, you know, I watch this channel, Tara Lynn. And I'll link her channel down below. She does a lot of uh, tutorials, a lot of testing new products. And she's just a sweetheart. So I'll link her channel down below, and I hope you guys check her out. And she tried this on. And she really liked it. And I also watched Tati. And of course, everybody knows Tati. And I saw her try this out. And I thought, you know, let me try a concealer. Everyone raves about this one. So I got it. And I also got the baking and the brightening. Normally, I'm not a baker underneath my eyes. I just think it dries out my eyes. Okay, there's a truck backing up. But I thought, what the heck? Why not? Let's just try these. So I got these also, and I also got the eyeshadow palette. It is a beautiful palette. I saw also Tara Lynn use this, I saw Tati use this, and I saw another YouTuber friend of mine, Mosley Doll 78 and I'll link all those channels down below. Please check them out. I wanted to try it too, so I guess I am supporting the KKW Beauty, but if the products are good and I like it, why not? It will be okay. First, let's go with the eyeshadow palette. Here it is in its box. Let me take it out. It looks like the box that it came in. It has KKW and Mario written on the top, clear embossed letters, and it has the names of the shadows in the back. And this palette costs $45, and you get, I believe, 10 shades. Oh, look how pretty those are. Look, look how pretty those are. Yeah, those are pretty. Okay. It has a nice mirror there at the top and it has a magnetic closure, which is nice. Yes, this palette costs $45, but they're shipping to it and I believe it was $8. So, I mean, okay, I'm going to say this. With the amount of money that Kim Kardashian makes, I think she could spring for shipping. <laughs> That's just my opinion, but okay, whatever. I paid it and I got it. These are all real pretty. This blue one, I know I'm a little nervous of blues, and Mosley Doll 78, I know you know this, <laughs> but I'm going to try it. I don't know if it's going to be today, but I will eventually try the blue. But look at this pretty bronze one. Okay, I'm going to dip my finger in it. It's kind of soft. It's kind of soft. There's the first shade right there. Let me swatch that. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, which other one should I swatch here? Let me swatch this bronze one. Oh, this one's soft. There's that pretty bronze one right there. Oh, wow, look at that. These are real pretty colors. You know what? Let me swatch the blue one, too. Let me just swatch the blue one. That is soft, though. There's the blue one. Okay, let's put that one down here. Let's start playing and I'm going to put tape underneath my eyes and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back and I zoomed you in a little closer and I sure hope that the tape is even. And this is just regular first aid tape that you can find at your local drugstore. Nothing fancy. First, I'm going to use the Benefit Stay Don't Stray eyeshadow primer. So we'll go with that first. You know, I've been dealing with allergies for the past week. And I wanted to play with this palette sooner, but, you know, it was itchy, so I didn't want to mess with it. And it's still a little itchy, and this eye especially is a little runny, watery, I guess you could say. 
but I wanted to play with this palette so I didn't want to wait any longer. So okay, I already primed my eyes, now I'm going to set it, and I'm going to go ahead and set it with this, this one right here, the one on the bottom corner. I'll probably list the names underneath because the names are so small. I need my glasses to see. So it'd be just easier if I just write down the names on the bottom, on the bottom of the screen. And I'll list all the brushes that I use down below. This is the Morphe E8, I believe. And I'm just gonna tap that in there. Oh, look, not much fallout. And I'm gonna go with my favorite blending brush. This is also by Morphe. And this is the B13. And I will go into this transition shade here, the middle one in the top row. No kick up. Very nice. Makes me wonder if there's any shadow here on the brush, but we will see. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That is coming on really good. Okay, I'm just going to build it up. I'm putting this in my crease and above my crease to give it that transition, that radiant effect, the gradient effect, I believe. Yeah, gradient or radiant? Gradient. All right, next I'm gonna take the Wayne Goss, the number 16 brush, and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Okay, in this one I'm gonna go in the crease and a little bit lower. And I'm going to concentrate more on the outside of the eye and just bring what's ever left on my brush inside. Okay, then I'm going to go back with the first brush and the first color and just blend that out. I think that's about done with those two colors. Now, which color should I use for the lid? And I know y'all are going to say blue, but Give me time, give me time. Let me play with some other colors first before I get into the blue. Even though that is a beautiful blue. That is a beautiful blue. You know what, let me swatch this one and this one again. These two right here. Let me see how that would look. You know, I think I'm gonna go more bronze today. I think I'm gonna go bronze. Let's go bronze or go home. All right, let me go for a flat shade of brush. This is the Sigma and this is the E55. This one right here on the bottom corner. That is pretty. That is pretty. Let me go in with my finger and see how that would work. Just to see the difference. Oh yeah. Finger. I always like putting uh, metallics with my finger on my lid. And you know what? There's not much fallout on my cheek using the metallic shades. And it says that you can use this dry or wet. I think I'm just going to use it dry today because I'm using my finger. Okay, now I'm going with a smaller tip brush. This is also by Wayne Goss. This is the number 20. And I will go with the top corner shade here for the outer corner of my eye. To give it a little dimension. Oh, now that one does have some kick up. Yeah, that one did have some kick up. Oh yeah, okay. I sure hope everything looks even. I am not a makeup artist. I am just a 50 year old woman having fun with makeup that just started playing with makeup two years ago and learning blending and building and transition. But so far I am liking this eyeshadow palette. All right, I'm gonna go off camera and do my eyebrows and do my eyeliner and I'll be right back and we'll play with concealer and the powders. All right, I'm back and I'm gonna prime my face first. I'm gonna use the Illa Musca primer. All right, now let's contour. I picked up three shades. I picked up six, seven, and eight. And I think I'm gonna go with number seven first because it says it has a peachy undertone for the dark circles, so I'm going to go ahead and start with that one. Let's go ahead and open it and try it. They say it's, it's kind of like the Tarte Shape Tape. Now I'm going to let you know that I do have the Shape Tape and it's not my favorite concealer. It's too thick and drying on me, so I haven't used that in a while. So when I saw Tara and Tati use this, I thought, okay, let me just try it. Let me just try something different. And this one cost $18. I believe all the, the uh, concealers and the powder cost $18 each. You can also get it in a kit with a concealer. 
the bake powder and the, the brightening powder and two brushes for $80, but I didn't need the brushes, so I just bought them separately. Here it is right here. It's a real pretty, you know, container here, square, loose side here with the pinky flesh tone lid. Okay, here's the doe foot applicator. It's kind of creamy. Okay, let's hope it can hide the dark circles. You know, I'm going to put some on my melasma spots here just to see if, what that can do. Didn't hurt to try. And I saw the video that's on the website, on the KK Beauty uh, website, where Mario does like a little tutorial with the concealers. And he used seven on Kim Kardashian West first, and then he used five. And I thought I had five, I thought I had gotten five, but I got six and eight. So I'm going to try to put six after this one. But let's go ahead and, and blend this one in with a Dampen Beauty Blender. Wow, okay. This kind of melts into the skin. And let you know, I like to put concealer on before my foundation. Uh, I like that better. All right, I mean, so far it's blending really nice. And it's spreading really nice. Look at that. Okay, now the test is if it uh, settles in my wrinkles. And I know I have wrinkles and I'm not trying to find something that can hide it, get rid of it. I just don't want it to look cakey and dry. So I'm hoping that this concealer can do that. And if it can conceal dark spots. Wow, I look like a, like a rabbit or something. <laughs> Sorry, got distracted there. Okay, now I'm going to go with number six. I'm going to try to lighten it up a little bit. First, let me swatch number seven for you on my hand. Okay, that's number seven. And so far, it's not settling in my wrinkles underneath my eye. Okay, number six. And number six, they describe it as medium with warm undertones. And I'm going to swatch that too on the bottom here, like that. So that's number six and number seven. So let me put number six right there, just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Oh, try a little extra there. And I don't want to put too much either. Wow, that did bright, kind of brighten it up a little bit, didn't it? But we'll see. I'll do a check-in in the evening to kind of see how it, how it works. And you know what? Let me swatch number eight for you guys. I'm not going to put it on underneath my eye because I don't want too much product underneath my eyes. And number eight, they describe this as a deep medium with warm undertone. So I'm going to put number eight right here. There you go. So this is number six, seven, and eight. And these two is what I have on my eyes, underneath my eyes right now. Okay, <laughs> almost forgot. <laughs> I need to bake. So let me go ahead and bake. Okay, and the shade I got in the baking powder, I got number two. And it's described as a translucent pink powder. And it just comes in a square, lucite container like this. Okay, finally got it. There was a clear plastic thing on, on top of here. So, so let me take that off. So you can see. Now, I guess I'm just going to put some in the lid like this. It is kind of pink. I'm just going to use my blending brush, my blending sponge here, and... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and brush it off right now because I don't want to bake too much. I didn't let it set that much. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation right now, and then I will brighten. I'll be right back. Now I just put on my foundation. So let me go in with the brightening powder, and this is also in the shade number two. And they describe this as a pastel pink with brightened pearls in here. So it comes with a little bit of a thinner lucite case. Let's hope it's easier to figure this one out. Oh, this one you don't twist open, you lift up. And that, oh, it comes with a nice mirror. And there's the powder right there. 
Let's watch that here. And let me put that right there. Just go ahead and tap that in. Okay, did it brighten? Now let me finish underneath my eye. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush right here, and this one came in with the Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. So just, you know, double-sided. I really like this one for underneath my eye. So I will go in with the first shade right here. And then with the second one right here. And then just bring it up and just kind of blend it together. Now let me finish putting on my makeup, mascara, the face makeup, and I will be back. I finished putting everything on my face, all my makeup, and I am really impressed with the eyeshadows and the concealer and baking. But, you know, just to give it a good uh, review, I'm going to, you know, check in and see how holds up during the day, especially the concealer, because yes, I am a 50 year old woman and yes, I have wrinkles. And again, I am not looking anything. I'm not looking for anything that can hide the wrinkles or flatten it out. I'm looking for something that doesn't make it dry or accentuate my wrinkles. This that says, hey, look, I've got many wrinkles over here. I mean, I'm smiling right now. You can see the wrinkles, but I am liking this formula for the concealer and I don't think it's the same as the shape tape on me. I mean, that's, that's just my personal opinion, but I do not like the shape tape concealer by Tarte. No, that one was just no, but I am really liking the Kim Kardashian, the KKW Beauty concealer. So my daughter, Christian, yes, I do like something from the Kardashians. <laughs> Look at the eyeshadows. I'm looking down, I'm looking down right now and just look at it. They blended out beautifully. There was only one that had the, the kick up and that was the shade right here. But this bronzy one is beautiful. And the blue one, you know, I just swatched it. Thought that the blue one would be a little bit more sparkly. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But I'm still gonna play around with it and eventually, maybe I'll put a picture in, in one video that says, hey, I finally did the blue one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the swatches up, and the first one is 2008, Glam, Miami, Armenian, Loyalty, Decade, Albanian, Vegas, Libra, and Bronzy. So you can kind of see that the blue one just on, on my arm, it just didn't, I have a lot of sparkle, but so far I am loving the shades that I tried on right now, and I am loving the concealer so far, and the baking and the brightening powder. Okay, I'm gonna come in closer so you can see the eyeshadows and the concealer. So yeah, you can kind of see my my teary eyes right there. Again, I'll do you know a little check in here later, and we'll go from there. But so far. Doing a check in here for the KKW and Mario eyeshadow palette and the concealer. I am loving this concealer and the palette. First of all, let me tell you, I'm in the front yard here because I was trying to do it in the backyard and our neighbor behind us decided to mow grass. You can probably still hear it, but it's a lot better than being in the backyard. And you can kind of see, that's where I film right there. So this is what I look at. The front yard here. Yep, that's my YouTube room. And you can also hear the birds, uh, the mockingbirds, and there's some crows out here. And actually there were a couple of cardinals right there in that tree. It is outside here in North Texas in the springtime, so there's a lot of noises. But let's get back to the concealer and the palette. I mean, granted this one here, you can't really judge it because this eye has been tearing, so it just kind of did a little bit come off and a little bit of the eyeshadow came off in my eyelid. but. Other than that, I mean, you can see the eyeshadow, how it's holding up. It's been, it's been about four and a half hours since I finished putting everything on. I put number seven and I put number six. Number seven does have a peachy undertone to it, so I did not even put any uh, orange corrector that I usually put underneath my eye, and it's pretty, it's concealing the dark circles pretty well. And then I put number six on top, and then number eight, 
I may next time put eight over these to see if that may help. Just to see. But so far, I am really liking number six and number seven. <clears throat> number seven for underneath my eyes. Number six and number seven for underneath my eyes. Probably, maybe, maybe, maybe in the next check-in, I'm going to put the blue eyeshadow underneath my eyes. Just to see what it'll look like. Just to see. All right, see you in the next check-in. Go stand right there to block the sun. <laughs> All right, doing the final check-in here for the KKW and Mario eyeshadow palette and the concealer. Okay, I'm gonna let you know here, my sun is standing right here to block the setting sun <laughs> in the <laughs> west here. <laughs> because, move. Yeah, that's what happened. So you can move back. There you go. <laughs> He's home from school for a week, so a week or two, maybe a week, maybe two. <laughs> but yeah, so he's standing right there. I am really loving this concealer and the eyeshadow palette. First, let's talk about the uh, eyeshadow palette. It's the first thing I put on. Here it is right here. The colors, the matte colors blended very well. The metallic shades that I used, or actually it was just this one, bronzy. It's... It's wonderful. I can't wait to try the rest of these colors and I will try the blue. Actually, I did put it underneath my eye just to see what it looked like. And it's giving me a, a smoky eye effect. What do you think? Yeah, it seems right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I am really impressed with this eyeshadow palette. The only thing I'm worried about is the blue one. When I swatched it, it didn't give me that wow factor when I saw other YouTubers you know, swatching it. So I will try it. Again, I have it underneath my eye, but I'd like to try it on my lid to see if it does have that wow factor. And it's holding up pretty well. This is about eight, eight and a half hours in. All right here's a close up of the shadows on my lids. But yeah, it's really nice. Now the concealers and the baking powder and the brightening powder. I am really loving these two. Again, I've had this on for a good eight, eight and a half hours. And my husband came home for lunch and I walked into the kitchen and he looked at me and he, he did a wow. And he said, your face looks really good. I like underneath your eyes. So these went on really creamy. It melted into the skin. And I'm glad I didn't get number five because I think number five would be too light. Number six and number seven is what I have underneath my eyes and I think that looks beautiful. I really do. And let's talk about the powders too. This is the baking powder and the brightening powder. I love these too. Again, I usually do not bake underneath my eye because it will make it look cakey. It will dry it out. So I just kind of quit baking underneath my eye just, just slightly you know, dab it with some setting powder. But this, when I baked with it, granted I did not leave it on for a good long time, I just baked it and left it on for about 30 seconds and then wiped it off, maybe a minute and then wiped it off. And then I put my foundation on, then I put the brightening powder on. I like it. It did a little bit crease up underneath my eyes in here probably about a couple hours ago. But again, I'm not looking for anything that will get rid of my wrinkles because there's nothing out there that will. I'm just looking for something that doesn't make it look cakey, that will conceal my dark circles underneath my eyes, and that doesn't dry it out. And I think with these products right here, I think I found it. I think I found it. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my review on the KKW Beauty products. And thank you for Luke for standing there to block the sun, the setting sun for me. Thank you, Luke. You're welcome, Mom. Aww. <laughs> All right, you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.